Hi, welcome to The Garden Fix. I'm Rob, and I'm in Zone 6B, Western Pennsylvania. So today we're going to be putting in two new perennial shrubs. The first one I want to talk about is called uh, Party Lights False Holly. Now, Party Lights is hardy down to Zone 6A, so it should be okay in our zone, which is 6B, we're hoping. Um, uh, one of the nice things about this plant is that the holly, or the false holly, I should say, um, when the new growth comes out, it turns uh, golden and reddish. So this is going to look really pretty, especially when the sunlight hits it. It should be about three to five feet tall, so um, which can be controlled if we want it to be. And that is going to sit right back here near this walkway. And uh, that brings us, we're going to put that in in a second, but I do want to talk about the other plant that we have already planted back here. We put that one in last week. So this is uh, called a golden spring winter hazel. And this shrub will get to be about uh, three to five feet tall and wide as well. And so what we got here is a lot of nice color with these shrubs. Behind it, we have an elderberry, which seems to hold this dark purplish green uh, foliage throughout the whole year. And then in front of it will be a nice contrast with this. And then in front of that, we'll have uh, this uh, false holly that will do, be doing its thing. And so those three colors there should really complement each other. So let's get that in the ground. Okay, so now we have four quick plants that we're going to put in, all of them perennials. So let's get to it. So we decided to add Candy Tuft to another part of our yard since it was doing so well. We decided to put it near our iris garden because this side of our yard doesn't seem to have too much spring, early spring color in it. So we thought we would add a little early spring color to this side of our yard. Candy Tuff gets six to 12 inches tall and about 12 to 18 inches wide. And it is hardy down to zone three, all the way up to zone nine. We decided to add alyssum to this mound or berm that I built a little while ago. Strangely enough, the alyssum we're putting in is also called Golden Spring. This alyssum gets six to eight inches tall and 12 to 14 inches wide, and it is hardy down to zone four.
Over in our birdbath garden, we're starting to put in new plants uh, to accompany some of the perennials that we had from last year. And uh, we have currently two geum plants and we decided to put a third geum near it. So we have a little threesome of geum plants. The third one we're putting in is called Prairie Smoke. This particular geum gets eight inches tall and six to 12 inches wide. And the attraction from this geum comes from its seed heads. So this particular geum is going to have stems that have pink bell-shaped flowers on them. After that, the seed heads will form clusters of wispy pink plumes, which should look amazing right here. The last plant that we decided to put in was a primrose, which is called Blue Zebra. And we decided to put it near our crepe myrtle in the back part of our garden here where it gets a lot of shade. This plant is hardy down to zone four, from zone four to zone eight. It gets six to eight inches tall and about eight inches wide and look at these amazing blooms on it. Okay, I guess that's it for today. I did want to point out a couple things. Um, the weather here in Pennsylvania has been pretty crazy. Uh, I mean, I mean really crazy. One day we'll have, um, like today, which is about a 40 degree day, and, and then the next day we'll have an 85 degree day. So these plants are um, really kind of toughing it out through this um, shock that they're going through. Now tonight, and tomorrow we may have a freeze here. So some of those little plants that we put in, we may have to put a little cap on them to keep them safe. As you can see here, this color combination here is gonna look really nice. So I'm really happy about that and excited about that. And I'm also excited uh, about all the people who have been uh, becoming our followers here on YouTube. I really appreciate you guys. And um, if you haven't yet, look us up on Instagram and uh, follow us there. We have some updates of things that are happening in the yard. We'll take some pictures of some things and um, we'll fill you in on what's going on. Okay, so until next time, uh, stay tuned. We have some more things coming in uh, that we'll be putting in, uh, actually a lot more things, and we have a lot more things that are, are going to be blooming and we can talk about and share with you and uh, also some updates of things we have planted. So until next time, I'll see you in the garden. Hi and welcome to the Today we're going to be, and uh, the first one I want to talk about here is called um, a, oops. and the first one I want to talk about uh, is called Party Lights, uh, and it is, the first one I want to talk about is called uh, Party Lights False Holly, which is, um, which is, which is, now Party Lights is hardy. Uh, down to zone A. Now, party. <laughs> now, party lights is. <laughs>